Hello, and welcome to World Plone Day. In this video, we'll show you how to integrate your Plone site with Slack. For this presentation, we will use a project created with Cookie Cutter Plone Starter. Running Cookie Cutter Plone Starter will create a new Plone 6 project, with a Volto front-end. After creating the project, we need to include the add-on content rules.slack as a package dependency. Go to the backend folder, and then to src and click on the setup.py file. Under install requires you will add a new entry, content rules.slack. This will tell Python to always install content rules.slack when installing this project. The next step is to include the package content rules.slack in the list of dependencies of our project that will be loaded by Plone. To do so, search for the file dependencies.zcml and add a new entry there. Now, run the backend installation so the new dependency is installed by Python in this project. After the installation is complete, we will be able to use the add on. First, let's start both the backend and the front end. The backend will be listening on port 8080, while the front end will be accessible on port 3000. Before we can integrate our Plone site with Slack, we need to go to Slack and get a new webhook URL. First, click on Settings and Administration, then click on Manage Apps. This will open a new tab on your browser, and in this new tab, click on Custom Integrations, then Incoming Webhooks, then Add to Slack. Fill the Post to Channel text box, then click on Add Incoming Webhook Integration. In the next screen, copy the newly created webhook URL, which we will use to configure content rules on Plone. We will create a content rule that will be triggered when a new user logs into the site. Point your browser to the front-end URL, http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000. To manage content rules, you will need to be authenticated with manager or site administrator privileges, so we will click on the login link, and fill the username and password of a user with administrative rights. Now, we will go to Plone Control Panel to add the new content rule. Click on the lower left icon of a person, then click on Site Setup. Now, search for the Content Rules Control Panel, and click on it. As you can see, there are no content rules created yet. Let's add our new content rule by clicking on the Add Content Rule button. Provide a meaningful title for the new rule. Select User Logged In as the Triggering Event. Click on the checkbox to enable this content rule. And then Save, which will take us back to the list of content rules. We will now configure the newly created rule. To do so, click on the Configure button related to the report when a user logs in our site. This will take you to the configuration view of the content rule. It is possible to select a condition that should be matched before this content rule runs. For the user logged in the options are, Users Group, Users Role and Details Expression. We won't be adding a condition, but in your projects you could limit the reporting of user logins only to a particular group of users. As we want to report a new login on Slack, we will add the post a message to Slack action to this rule. The next form allows you to control how the message will be sent. The first field asks you for the webhook URL use the same one we obtained on Slack when creating a new incoming webhook integration. Then you can specify the channel to post the message. There is no need to use the same channel you configured during the creation of the webhook integration. You can control how the message will be displayed on Slack, by filling Pretext, a small text that appears between the text and the title Title of the message Title link, the link to be added to the title, text, the first line of the message Color to be used by the message Icon to be displayed as the avatar of the user writing the message Username to be displayed as the sender of the message Fields that can display tabular information. This image shows how the options from the previous form will be rendered in the message. 
After a new content rule is created, it needs to be assigned to a context on the site. This is very useful for rules that you want to be active only in parts of your site. For our content rule, we want it to be assigned to the whole site, so we go back to the site homepage. Then, on the right side, toolbar, click on rules, select the report when a user logs in our site and click add. The content rule is created, assigned and is ready to be used. It is time to test the Plone to Slack integration. As an anonymous user, we click on the login link and provide our account information. Now, when we go to the random channel on Slack, there is a new message reporting the user Erico Andre logged into our Plone site. Pay attention to the fields displayed at the bottom of the message, as they are a nice table with additional information about the user. That is how you integrate your Plone site with Slack. Thank you for watching this video, and if you have further questions, you can reach us at the contentrules.slack github repository.